Hey everyone, Adam Mishan here, singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. And today we're going to be talking about vocal cord swelling and how to check if you have it and what to do about it. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. So vocal cord swelling is exactly what it sounds like, a little bit of puffiness going in on the vocal cords. So generally the vocal cords are very flat surfaces that are able to meet together 100% every time that they vibrate. Now, if we have a little bump on the vocal cord where we have place where it's swelling a little bit, now all of a sudden it's not going to match perfectly as they vibrate. And so when those vocal cords come together, there's gonna be little gaps of air through there that is not going to allow the sound to come out nice, crisp, and clean. So obviously there are really big clear warning signs of vocal cord swelling that we hit. For example, having to talk like this and talking through vocal cords that squeak like this. That's a very clear, obvious sign that you have vocal cord swelling and in the later stages. The problem with this and finding that type of symptom is that you've caught it way too far, way too advanced. It's already wreaked havoc on your voice. The only thing to really do at that point when your voice sounds like that as you're speaking or singing is to just give it rest. Like totally stay off of it, allow whatever caused that to repair itself and eventually your voice will come back nice and clean. The good news, however, is that there's much subtler ways to notice if you have vocal cord swelling going on that you can address much easier than that level of vocal cord swelling. So the first thing that you can try to see if you have any vocal cord swelling is pick a pitch up high in your head voice. So we have gear one in our voice. Ah, uh, that's what we call chest voice. Then we have gear two. And what I want you to do in gear two, I want you to pick a pitch. It doesn't really matter right now what pitch it is, but I just want you to try to pick that pitch and try to make it very, very quiet. So we want to be quiet and non-airy as we do this. And we're going to go. And you want to try to see what does the onset, the sound of how the voice sounds, the moment it starts, how does it sound? If you get anything like this, anything like that going on with the throat, that tells you that there is a little bit of swelling on the vocal cords. Now this is much less than this amount of swelling, right? Because you might be able to even speak and sound pretty normal. You might sound a little bit scratchy, but you will sound pretty normal. If you have this, this kind of airy, whiny, sort of whistly beginning of your oo sound, that tells you that there's a little bit of that swelling. Now, if accessing this higher range is really difficult for you and you're not able to do it at this low, low volume, I highly recommend clicking the link down below. My lesson subscription is there and there we can go through and work together to try to fix this problem in your voice. So it's definitely something that can be worked through. Click that link down below. Now, the next way that you can notice if you have some swelling going on the vocal cords is that there will be an inflexibility of the vocal cords. So when the vocal cords vibrate, when they're healthy, they're very flexible because they don't just meet and then open up. They don't do this. There's a wave that happens and that mucosal wave needs flexibility to be able to happen nice and easily. So what you'll notice when your vocal cords are swollen is that there will be a little bit of an irregular vibration that's happening. So a good way to test it is to do like an ah at a medium volume. So if you just do this in your middle range and you go ah, try it and see what happens as you go in that medium volume. Does anything like this happen? Ah, where you have an uncontrollable kind of waver or vibrato that's not really a nice clean vibrato that's coming in and you're not trying to do it. It's just naturally coming into your voice. That can be a really good sign of that inflexibility due to swelling. So let's say you've gone through these checks and you find one of these issues popping up. So what you can do to be able to fix it is use a straw. So I want you to get a straw, generally something pretty thin. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll notice that I love to use the straw. It is a scientifically backed singing exercise that really, really helps with the health of the vocal cords. So what I want you to do through the straw is I want you to go to that place where either you know that your voice is shaking or you have that kind of airy squeaky onset. And I want you to go there and I want you to slide around there. So let's say the, 
let's say you're getting it up there, right? And you're not able to get that nice and clean. That's the sound of healthy vocal cords. So we want to try to find, can we get that to be a little bit cleaner on the onset? So we're not getting a in the beginning. So what we're going to do is we're going to blow through the straw and we're going to pick a note a little bit lower than that. We're going to go up to that note. I want you to think about yourself like a ambulance siren. And I want you to spend a good two, three minutes just going through that range. And you might even want to notch it up a little bit higher. And what I want you to do is pay close attention to how your voice sounds in that middle range. If it's coming out that your voice is breaking apart, don't try to push it or force it. Try to keep it nice, light, and easy through the straw. So then that way you can get a little bit of this tension off of the vocal cords and put a little bit more of that pressure into the straw. And now let's say you've done that for two, three minutes. What I want you to do is come back to it and see what happens. So let's, we're going to go and see if we can get that nice, clean, clear beginning of the sound. Are we getting a Still, is that still being an issue? So if it's getting better, I want you to try to mark and remember what that, how bad it was before. If it's getting better, but it's not quite there, it's not quite as good as you want it to be. It's not a clean onset. We want to try to spend a little bit more time, maybe even just two more minutes and just see what that's going to do to that range. You'll notice that in a very short amount of time of spending a lot of time going over this range, it will become much easier to sing with it. Now, if your issue is your voice wavering or shaking, then what I want you to do is use a puffy cheek sound. So I want you to go now what this does is it helps you to, or it allows you to go a little bit louder than you can through a straw because of the amount of pressure that's built up at the lips. Now, what I want you to do is go to that place where before ah, you were getting that shakiness. It might sound a little bit different in your voice because I'm trying to imitate it. But what I want you to do is use that exact scale and do it with a puffy cheek. And let's say up there, your voice is still shaking. What I want you to do is then isolate just that top part. And hold it out for a good 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Then I want you to try dropping the pitch and then raising the pitch. So we're going to go. And I want you to do this for, again, two minutes, just spending a little bit of time going to the pitch, lowering it and coming back. What you'll notice is that as you do this, that shaking may be apparent for the first little while, but very soon the shaking will start to go away and it'll sound much more solid and steady. So the good news is if you're at this point in the video, then you didn't quite have this type of voice and you just had these small issues, small signs of swelling on the vocal cords. Now we've gone through the fix. It's not going to bring your voice up to 100% because we need good, healthy vocal cords to be at 100%. But in a pinch, when you really need to perform or you need to sing a piece or you need to do a public speech, these are really great exercises that can help you hone in on the specific spot that is giving you problems and try to reduce the swelling in a relatively short amount of time. So I hope you guys benefited from this video. If you did, I've got another one right over here that you're going to like a lot as well. So check that out.